Thank you all for coming. Head coach Paul Haynes is joined by junior quarterback George Bolas. Uh, coach will open us up here with an opening statement. Uh, again, another tough football game. Um, proud of these guys fight. It was a fun game. Guys making plays all over the place. Um, you know, uh, they just made a couple more than they did. But, um, you know, again, the score doesn't really show it with that last one that we gave up. But we had some chances to cut it. And, and um, again, those guys sat there and brought some pressure and did a good job. But proud of this team, proud of these guys on how we continue to fight and, um, you know, make plays. It was fun to watch the offense. You know, finally, guys making plays and, and uh, making big plays for us, which was huge for us. It gave us a chance to sit there and try to try to win the game. George got a career high in passing today. Just talk about what you saw out there. Was kind of that tough game. Um, I, I think I played a little better and smarter, I guess, you know, in the sense of I, th I threw the ball away a little more earlier in the game instead of trying to force something, you know, let, let us have another play, another shot, and then. Other than that, it was all, I mean, a lot of it was just on the receivers making big time plays, going up and getting the ball. Coach, you guys out game them, uh, dominated time possession. What do you think went wrong in this one? Um, again, when you give up a touchdown on special teams, that's always huge to come, overcome. Um, you know, when you spot them, sit there and seven points on that. Um, you know, and again, they just made a couple more plays, but, you know, it was fun to watch a lot of young guys sit there and make plays. You know, those are all young guys making plays. And, you know, we were shorthanded a little bit on defense, you know, with Monday not out there and Parker not out there. I mean, we had two, one true freshman and another, you know, redshirt freshman out there sitting there playing our diamond nickel, which they played well, you know, for us. So, but they, again, they just came down and they made a couple more plays than what we did. Um, but again, I, like I said, I love our guys' fight because we had chances to sit there and make plays at the end. Um, again, we just came up a little short. I know George won't talk about how good he played, but how, how do you think he played? I loved it. You know, I, again, I, I really think, and, and may, he may not think this, but I really think these midweek games, you know, really help him with all the reps, extra reps, and, and everything that he gets. And when he gets those reps and you see him play, you know, that was the first thing that, that Coach Bonamago told me. He said, I think you guys found a quarterback, you know, and I think we did. You know, and I think, again, when you give him the time, I don't think his major is going to change, though. <laughs> you know, so I don't think it's going to get any easier with him with classes. I think it's going to get harder. But, you know, when you look at a guy that's getting reps and, and studies like he does, he's a smart guy, and, and, and you see the progression week to week that he, that he got better, you know, at that, you know, he's, he's done a great job and proud of him, you know, and I think – you know, he's again, he's a great teammate, great kid. Uh, and I think it's more and more confidence that, that everybody gets in him the more that he's in there. You've had some success at points this year going down the field, you know, five yards, you know, incremental yards. But today there were big plays up, you know, at the Wazoo that we haven't seen before. Guys doing, you know, Kerrigan 38 with a long, Harrell 66 with a long, Butler had a 32 yard catch. What was leading to all these big explosive plays? I think, again, like George said, it's just guys making plays, you know. Uh, I think you watch, you know, any game and, um, you know, every – again, we live in a credit world that you want to say that it is a great call, but you just got guys making plays. You know, you watch college football, you watch a quarterback throw it five yards and a guy go 80, and you say that was a great call. Well, you got guys sitting there just making plays, and I think that's what happened, you know, today with George making the throws and guys just making plays. It seemed like you guys incorporated the tight ends uh, in the passing game a little bit more today. Was that just part of the game plan, or you see that going against Akron? Yeah, well, we'll see. Uh, but again, that was just a part of the game plan. They were a fast-flowing defense, you know, so all the misdirection stuff that we got early on these guys was, was a part of what we, you know, what we saw on film. Uh, just talk about the importance of, you, you mentioned big plays, getting like guys like Car Carrigan the ball a few times a game. Yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, explosive to see him go. I mean, the guy can run um, and, and everything. Uh, we just got to find ways to get him the ball. Um, you know, but again, you look at Rankin. Rankin, I think, had a good game, too, with throwing and catching the ball and running the ball. Um, and then again, a young back going in there. Um, you know, Keyshawn Gamble, that's playing both ways for us, you know, right now and, and getting extra yardage. So there's a lot of good things you're going to watch on this tape offensively and defensively with young guys that you're going to like. Uh, 
just two of five in the red zone. What, what went wrong in that area? Um, again, just sitting there, just execution. It still goes back to execution. Again, we had a chance at the end, just, you know, the ball gets fumbled underneath us, you know. Um, again, you can't write that one, you know. Um, but again, just execution. We just got to execute a little bit better down there. George, it seemed like the offense as a whole had a lot more, playing with more confidence this game. Is there anything going on in the huddle or maybe said in the locker room? Or uh, I think progressively over the season, you know, we've, you know, we, we get, we've gained confidence and, you know, more experience. Um, so I think, I think that's a big part in that. And then, you know, we, we have, again, young guys just try, you know, trying until the end of the season, you know, no matter what our record is, no matter, you know, how much we're down, how much we're up, like everyone on the team still trying until the end. All right, thank you. <clears throat> oh.